Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 45 of Direwolf20's server play series. Hanging out on the server. What is this book, by the way? Link me for a good time. That sounds like a bad idea. What? Hanging out on the server, Alex, uh, Soren, Zeldo, CPW, and Neptune Pink. And I think they're all on TeamSpeak with us, as well as King Lemming and uh, Andrew's here. What's up, everybody? Not much. Why is it? Hey, Soren, uh, you should go see what the good time's all about. Um, there's, there's a really good time for this book. I have a chest I can put my items in just in case. No, I, th I think you, I think you'll be fine. Just go okay, ahead and uh, you know, go have a good time. Up. What's that, CPW? Wooden pipes are definitely derped up. Wooden pipes are derped up. All right, it just brought me a new digger. Ah! <laughs> All right, I see how this is a good time. Ow. What happened? Oh, wisps. <laughs> it's it's a it's a it's an like... evil, terrible, thorncrafty thing. Oh. Holy cow. And there's like three or four wisps right here right now. Okay, where was that book at? I can come kill some wisps. Uh, it's wisps. in his house. This is a bad time to mention. But... Wow, wisps look really cool when they die. When did <laughs> that happen? He improved that. Oh, look, level five. Ow. You said it was right. next to Dyer's house? Inside. Inside my house. It says, go through this for a good time. You might have to have fire aspects on your sword, do you? I do. Okay, so that's part of the reason to set a fire. Well, there are... I guess you did add it to this version. Just... Oh yeah, that was a cool death. Those wisps look awesome when they die. I like three moons in this world. Are they already dead? Uh, I killed them, but I'm sure there'll be more because this thing is spazzing out with purple lightning. Well, you should look at the three moons, Alex. Yeah, there's three moons now in this world. Yeah, that's uh, that's a new uh, Mistcraft thing, right? Is are there two yeah. suns or is it no? That's another moon, Ooh. I guess. Yes, yeah, moon. So that's a moon. Is that's it? a moon. There's a moon up there behind the sun. Should it be the other way around? Has anyone know. claimed that volcano? Because if they haven't, I I want to claim it. I need the basalt. <laughs> All yours, dude. I don't even know where um, we are in New Digger, but we're somewhere. Uh, uh, the fact that the moon's behind the sun probably means it's someone else's moon. It probably does. Well, that is cool. Um, yeah, I like I like the three moons thing. So this is a new thing in Mistcraft, right? You can. Yeah. So the time table, like the time age thing, is gone. So time is gone. You can't create eternal day worlds anymore. Not without doing some work. Not without doing some work. So I guess you have to give it, like, multiple suns or something? You can set the sun's position if you want fixed. So you can have a fixed moon on certain axis. To have the sun set fixed in the sky makes it internal day. What tab is that? Oh, so that's still dirt top. <sighs> ah, celestial bodies. Look at that. Normal moon. There's a lot of normal moon symbols and normal sun symbols. I'm gonna create a new uh, new book. You can start rotating. Really that sun, so awesome! We explained it. I'm creating a new uh, mistcraft book. Also, having strength and regeneration on is not helping me right now. I think there must have been neighbor update issues in the version of Buildcraft we got on the server at the moment. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's working fine in um, my test world, but um, for some reason on that server, it's not. Dark Sun. Dark Sun, huh? That sounds interesting. Yeah, replacing the book um, definitely was the key to getting things to behave better. I can smack that pipe all day long and it's not breaking or doing anything weird. The wooden pipe? Yeah. Hey, Dyer, what is this of course, this is looking thing that's next to your uh, code. <laughs> crucible? The thing that's hooked up to the crucible? Yeah, it looks like oh, a little pump thing back. or whatever. Yeah. It's like a water pumper or something. Yeah, it collects the excess flux that goes into the that would normally go into the atmosphere as a result of doing um, alchemy. Or, uh, ah, okay. Magic, magical alchemy, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's pretty neat, isn't it? 
So uh, I want to um, start working on my oil production facility and start making uh, fuel. Hey, Neptune. Hello. So my turtle is here. And I best get out of cheat mode. Okay, now it's broken. <laughs> and he's got his uh, stuff that he's going to go do. Yeah, I've been hearing reports of the wooden pipes having issues, but I've not seen them myself. They're in uh, in that version, yes, they are. So is this the Here's version where you sped up the quarry, by the way, CBW? Like, do we have that one no. on the server now? On the server, no, no, no. This is 144 only, mate. Oh, okay. What did cool. we decide about the max items in pipe? The max items pipe number? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, time for me Two. to start setting up a uh, neat little system to refine some fuel. Mm -hmm. So basically, I want to get some refiners going here, and I need to start pumping fuel up into my fuel tank, which I believe is right here. Oh, that's awfully close to my seed oil. Oh, sad. That's all right. I can solve that, I think. I need to get my cobble back. I don't like not having cobble there. Did anybody think 225 was too low? Fine by me. You know me, I don't have any objections to anything. I don't use BC pipes all that much. I just didn't I know think exactly how it works. might be a bit low, especially when LP comes. There we go, seed oil. So now I have to get fuel into this guy. So where am I going to create all my fuel today. source stuff? That's it. I'm trying to figure out where I want to create my uh, fuel stuff. Dozen stacks in them. Even with logistics pipes, big logistics systems. That's probably true. So fuel production, where do I want that to be? I got asked, King. Why can't I just hammer? I think uh, you might break uh, new hyperspeed quarries. Why can't the crescent hammer not rotate wood blocks? Um, that's coming. Because we hadn't thought of it at the time. When I made the hammer, you couldn't do that. And right. I, just, I hadn't updated it, sorry. No, it's fine. I'm just fine. Hyperspeed quarries. It will be in. What am I missing? You missed hyperspeed quarries. I guess the real question is, why are all tools not the same, and why can't they all do that? That That's more of a, you know, mod crossover issue. Yar. All right, you two, well, I'll be back once I figure out where I want to start my fuel production line. Probably, like, right around here, I think. Okay, okay guys, I'm back, and you can see me making some cool stuff. When are you not? I don't know. Okay. Getting some diamond gears going on with some tanks and something like that. Ah, I need more tanks. Diamond gears, huh? Yes, sir. I'm making three refineries. Alex, you want to see how this redstone energy cell works? Or if it's fine. Oh, I also need... King, what happened to the bottom? That's the way the block renders. I, I have to add a separate render in there to show it. It'll be fine. That guy. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. Just a bit. I think that looks good. Okay. Nice. Ready to go play some. So guys, here's what I've come up with. Uh, pretty much just this neat little area here. I'm um, thinking I can just connect my things right here. Might be not too bad of an idea. We'll see what happens. Boom. Boom and boom. Uh, so the oil can get pumped in there, um, right there. I'll pump it in through the top. Just connect it up to this guy. Um, I'm also considering whether or not I want to have like an oil system here pumping the oil through. I haven't quite decided how I want that to work yet. I have a couple ideas. Streaming that had might... apparently back in the background. What's up? So I started streaming. I apparently had the FTD homepage on the background screen. Ah, fun time. I was like. What? Slow streaming, huh? Nice. Yep. Final Fantasy 7, I think.
Is he allowed to do things other than uh, feed the beast mod packs or what? Is he allowed? I don't see a reason to feed. Why he should? I don't know. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Put this guy on and put this guy on. These people show up. Basically. Yay, someone's streaming. Oh, it's not Minecraft. Or Next. scheduled, I guess. I guess in um, an original Buildcraft, it was called Work Scheduled. Work Scheduled? Work Scheduled. That's the, uh, I guess, has work conditional in original Buildcraft, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, that looks nice. What you up to, buddy? That looks really cool, actually. Yeah, what I've done, uh, I, I pulled a crystal chest on Billcraft. Oh. Oh, I just made some bits transparent on the uh, on a couple of the renderers. Ones? On like the uh, pipe. I'm just doing, I'm testing the pipe tube right now. Oh. Uh, I think it actually looks kind of cool. So how's the transparent? Right um, just a transparent uh, texture on it. Oh yeah, what's it look like? Uh, I'll screenshot it. Oh. I'm going to change the build uh, quarry a minute now. I've figured that out uh, cool. because I can do that too. I'm ready to test uh, some stuff. Your Basically, here's my test, guys. You ready? It's a shame that uh, you can't get Minecraft to do uh, colored um, alpha. Uh, kind of can. How? Um, it's yeah, it geo blend, I want to say, but I can't see for sure. I can look through my uh, truncated electricity. You have to set up a geo blend, do you? Because well, I could probably do it's that. It's just disabled and enabled. It's a geo call. Yeah. Well, you can set the relative alpha layer too, but when you get into that, it gets kind of weird because depending on which side it renders first, you get this. Like, yeah. You you can look through it, and then one side is well, perfectly transparent, and it shouldn't be, and the other side is rendered kind of right. That one's fixed by just say call, enable call, and disable it when you're done. Hey, CBW. Okay. Yeah. You said wooden pipes are broken, right? Yeah, they seem to be very derpy. I'm not sure they're completely broken, but they're behaving very oddly on the server. You think that would, uh, I guess that would extend to waterproof wooden pipes, wouldn't they? Possibly. Yes, it would probably extend to all wooden pipes. Are they not having, like, a darkened side? Is that what, that's, what that is? Yeah, that's part of it, I think. Uh, they don't uh -huh. appear to be telling the server the client where they're actually thing, and if you whack them, yeah, uh, then they just go all derpy. They go all derpy really? if you whack them. Because yeah. last time I knew they were working fine. Did we like put a new version of PC on recently? Not very recently, no. It was about a week ago now. I use um, I use Buildcraft pipes all over the place. They seem to work fine for me. Come on, refinery. We're fine. I think it's working. I just can't seem to be getting it out. Lauren, can you drop down to Sidecraft for a minute? User mm. left your channel. Alright, YouTube, I'll have to be back as soon as I can figure out how to fix this. Alright, guys, looks like that wooden pipe is a little busted right now. I don't know what the cause is. Uh, CPW, I think, is looking into it, so hopefully we'll have it fixed by next episode. Uh, but Thunderdark logged in and joined us. What's up, buddy? He's shy and doesn't like talking on camera. But he wanted to show me about the security storage block he hooked me up with. 
So I need one of those things and one of those things. Okie dokie. One of these and... So that says owner Thunderdark. And I put this guy in here. Whoa, look at all this complicatedness. Uh, that. Neat. So now I shouldn't, because I put your ID card in there, I shouldn't be able to open the chest up here, right? Nice, that's cool. Oh, I can't even access the uh, security device anymore. <laughs> You'll have to take the card out. <laughs> cool. Neat. So is the inventory on the right um, where I can put ID cards that I give access to? Security station link that links back to this guy. That is cool. So I can put all my valuable stuff in that chest and nobody can steal it. Wahaha. Nice, you can't get at it with pipes either, huh? That's cool. Yeah, we've got some diamonds around here somewhere I should probably be saving. I'm pretty low on diamonds at this point. I'm gonna store them in here. Now nobody can steal them. Okay, so that's a bug. All right, good to know. I was gonna say, wait a second. <laughs> so I will probably store my diamonds in my normal chests for now, but once the server updates, that should no longer happen. That's kind of cool, I like that. That's nifty. So I can give access to like whoever I want. So maybe I'll let Soren have some of my stuff, but I'm not letting anybody else have it. They've been stealing my goodies. Open security storage, config security rights, force field bypass, edit MFFS block, stay right. What's the stay right setting do? The other ones are pretty apparent, but stay right. Ah, gotcha. Sounds pretty cool. I like it, dude. The MFFS mod is really like... That thing's getting big, dude. You're putting a lot of work and effort into that thing. It's a pretty cool mod. I need to start messing around with force fields, I think. I think that's going to have to happen, like, really soon in this series. Like, super duper soon. Alright, YouTube, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay guys, here's my plan. I want to set up this nifty little room that's right next to my liquid storage room. And I'm going to pump the fuel from this tank, once I'm able to get it into the tank, straight over into this room. Um, that fuel will then be placed inside all these nifty little um, 
Buildcraft engines. That's what these are going to be. They're going to be the iron engines. Um, fuel, of course, can have a very long duration. It can last a really long time. So I think that's the perfect resource um, to use. Also, we don't have to constantly turn, you know, refill with lava. So that'll also make it a little bit easier. It's a little bit, uh, you know, it's got its pros and cons. Of course, it can explode. Um, and in the past, I've had explosion issues as a result of water uh, not regening and, and chunk loading issues and all kinds of weird stuff. But thanks to thermal expansion, uh, we should be able to avoid that issue. That's what I'm thinking, at least, because thermal expansion gives us this awesome block called the aqueous accumulator, which is basically um, an infinite water source, like in a block, though. So it'll pump uh, liquid out, and it's really pretty awesome. So as you can see, I'm filling in the floor of my room with all kinds of nifty marble blocks. That's typically uh, the, I guess that's kind of been the pattern that I've been using for anything that's a shared resource room has been the marble brick stuff. Uh, so yeah, this will be shared for anyone to get uh, access to. They can come in here with their uh, redstone energy cells. I'm going to hook it up so they can just plug into, um, you know, a, a charging station, if you will, and then they'll start getting their redstone energy filling up uh, with Billcraft energy, and that'll be pretty awesome. So why don't I get started um, thinking about a design here. Basically, I'm going to have six um, engines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and that will uh, run some um, piping out, uh, sending power straight over in this direction. Um, and probably debating how I want to do this. I was thinking about just cutting this room in half um, and just running like a wall straight down the middle. Right, so we have uh, three blocks on this side, three on this side. Um, and then what I'm thinking is something along these lines where there'll be like this little, you know, block right here where people can just plug in, you know, place down whatever their redstone energy cell and it'll just start charging as soon as they plug it in. Now the redstone energy cells don't have a uh, logic gate conditional, so I'm going to use the um, the, the better wiring that comes with uh, the conduits, which we'll call it, these things. Yeah, redstone energy conduits. Those are what I'm gonna use to connect up my uh, combustion engines to the little spot in the wall here. And then um, from there, I'm probably gonna have some kind of lever and I'll set it up so that when you flip the lever right here on the wall, maybe we'll have like a green and red light or something show up to indicate when this thing is on or off. And then I'll uh, activate all the engines with the lever. So that should be a pretty neat and interesting build. I will be back in a few minutes once I get a few more marble bricks and probably whatever else I need to get this thing going. Okay guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is build myself uh, this nifty little device, um, the aqueous accumulator. So it shouldn't be too bad of a build. Thought that was the recipe for the thing. Oh, nope, just again, always derping with what direction to put things on. That should get me one, two of these guys. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna go with two aqueous accumulators, get myself a pair of buckets, and then I need to get myself uh, this thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, the pneumatic servo, which is iron, redstone, and glass. Not too big a deal. Need two of them. That's a pair of pneumatic servos. The machine frames go here. The buckets go here. And then uh, glass and tin. Awesome. Aqueous accumulator. This block is pretty nifty. Um, now, as you know, uh, Minecraft allows you to basically have infinite water pretty much all the time. Uh, it's really easy to set up an infinite water source, but every now and then uh, you wind up with a problem. And that problem is you've got uh, chunk loading or some kind of weird issue, and uh, the water source blocks don't regenerate. And a lot of machines and mods nowadays require like, you know, a good amount of water. It balances around the fact that water is going to be infinite anyway. So uh, when that doesn't regen, for example, in the case of a combustion engine, you might have a little bit of an explosion. Not cool. So uh, we're going to go ahead and dig underground here. And we're going to set up these aqueous accumulators. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes once I've dug out, you know, a reasonable, let's say, uh, room for dealing with these machines. All right, guys, just over at the beach, filling up a couple buckets with water and then running back to where I dug out a nice little space underground to set up my infinite water source uh, blocks. So let's go check it out. Um, going straight down here. And I'm probably just going to run some piping like this, right? Nice and simple. One, two, three to this guy. 
and then straight down onto my uh, infinite water source block. One, two, three to this guy, and then straight down. So I uh, want to have these blocks like this. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm also going to set up just a, for now, a basic infinite block pool thing. I don't know what's down there, but I'm avoiding it. It sounds scary. Just so I have my own infinite water source blocks. All right, cool. Uh, what else should I set up here? Um, doesn't really matter how I build this, right? Yeah, not a big deal. But let's get it going. Um, first, got to set up my aqueous accumulators. Now, I can, if I want, just place these guys down. And you can see they only have one output slot, an orange one. And you can see it's starting to build up some water, and the water's starting to fill up in the pipes. Um, but, you know, it's not terribly fast at the moment, um, because it doesn't have any water source blocks nearby to help him go. Uh, now, he has to have water source blocks basically touching uh, this guy, so we're going to set that up right now. And who knows, maybe I'll make these fancier looking in a bit. Okay, But uh, let's get it going. Right. By putting a water source block on either side of the machine like this, it's going to start accumulating water much faster than it was before. Notice how quickly it's filling up the um, golden pipe, and look, boom, tons of water. Um, compared to this guy who does not have water source blocks next to him, so one water source block speeds it up a noticeable amount, two speeds it up a whole heck of a lot. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Putting a couple water source blocks nearby because you do need to have two water source blocks um, to have an infinite thing. So basically, your aqueous accumulator sits here as a reliable form of um, infinite water as opposed to just placing the water source blocks like this and one in the middle and then pumping out of the middle. Pretty awesome. So there we go. Tons of water ready to pump directly into our iron engines. Um, aqueous accumulator, you rock. All right, so uh, off camera, made myself a couple of combustion engines um, and knocked off everything here because we're ready to get set up. Um, so let's take a look at how we're gonna lay these out. I'm going to set up first uh, my redstone energy conduits. Again, I'm using these because they're a little bit more efficient about routing power around. Um, also, they, they, they look pretty cool. Uh, they're nifty. That's, um, I don't know, I consider it kind of the tech two version of, um, you know, piping, but there is a downside. You can't connect um, gates to it. So no logic gates can be placed on these. Um, I'm not sure if that's changing, like I said, maybe it will, I don't know. And then I'm gonna hook up uh, the engines just like so. So what they should do is start filling up with water rather quickly at that, nice. Yeah, plenty of water flowing into that stuff. I like it. So, uh, redstone engine or the uh, iron engines here. You guys have seen me craft those about a dozen times, so I didn't feel I needed to craft them on camera. Um, they look like they're going to work out pretty well for me. Cool. Get this marble brick put back into place. Nice. So these guys will all fill up. Again, I need to double check. I'm not sure quite how much water this aqueous accumulator can uh, pump out at a given time. It doesn't look like it's filling up the engines terribly quickly, but I think it's going to be all right. I mean, we'll have to just test it, right? Like, let them heat up with some fuel in there. We'll see if it starts, you know, producing a problem. If it's too fast uh, draining the water that the aqueous accumulators can't keep up, then I might need to throw another one or two down there, maybe you know, one aqueous accumulator per two engines instead of per three. But uh, yeah, we'll check it out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this guy up to this. So what you're gonna wanna be able to do is come in here, place down your redstone energy cell, and uh, it'll start charging. And then I'm gonna have a lever somewhere around here, and uh, maybe just like a neat little light system to indicate when the system is on or off. Um, because I'm not using logic gates, so it won't automatically turn on the engines once the thing is placed down. Um, there is no conditionals yet for the redstone en energy cells, um, so we can't be like, hey, run until this thing fills up. Maybe, once those conditionals are set, I'll replace these conduits with actual pipes and then uh, set up a logic gate system, but we'll see. Right now, there's really no point to doing that. So, we've got a nifty little setup. All I need is fuel. Unfortunately, I have no access to the fuel that I created um, earlier in this episode. Let me show you what's going on. Basically, um, buildcraft wooden pipes in all forms are broken on the server at the moment, both item and liquid pipes. Um, also, this thing's acting funny. He's got no power flowing into him, so I don't know why he's dancing around like he's doing some work or something, because he's not. He's a liar. But um, you can see that uh, all our engines are off at the moment. Um, the reason for that is there's no liquid flowing through the cells. Um, the wooden pipes are not outputting the liquid from the fermenter, so it's kind of just hanging out in the pipes and 
being bad. Um, and up here you can see like this pipe is not filling itself back up, the seed oil pipe. So this wooden pipe is not working either. Uh, basically no wooden pipes are working. We think it's a problem. Somebody used the wrong version of the Buildcraft API. Um, so we're tracking it down, trying to figure out what the issue is. Hopefully by next episode we'll have fixed the wooden pipes. And I can start throwing some oil into here. Then I'm going to set up uh, the nifty little light system, the lever, the switch, and all that stuff. And then you should be able to just come in here, flip a lever, and start filling up your redstone energy cell. I'm looking forward to that. It sounds pretty awesome. And with that, guys, I feel like it's a pretty good wrapping up point for episode 45. So I hope you enjoyed checking out Direwolf 20 Server Play Series, episode 45. Um, pretty much got a little bit more work to do in that room, and then we should be square. Um, got to get the oil going, got to pump it into that refiner, uh, and pretty much get a bunch of fuel. So uh, come back next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and take it easy!